the night the Bears fans were hoping for, but it was still a magical season. 41 NBC's Tucker Sargent is in Raleigh, North Carolina, and he joins us now with a live report. Hey, Tucker. Certainly nothing to hang their heads about. What a career for these seven seniors, and what a year for these Mercer Bears representing for you tonight down in Macon. Tonight, it just wasn't their night. They ran into a Tennessee team that was extremely hot after their win over UMass the other day. Tennessee out-rebounded the Bears in this game 41-19. to What a number, and a lot of those were offensive rebounds on second chances, and Mercer just could not stop Tennessee from scoring. Now, the Vols started this game on a pretty big run, but Mercer came right back to tied and then they went into the locker room down 15 points and in the second half Tennessee kept up their double digit lead and went on to win the game 83 to 63. Now as you can imagine these Bears were extremely emotional in the locker room after the game. They truly believed they could win this game and keep on winning. I caught up with some of them after the game. Uh, it was a, it's our goal to get here and um, you know we had an upset on Duke which was good. We just couldn't get it done tonight but you know, I, I still love all my brothers. And the fans were amazing. Uh, driving, what, seven, eight hours to come see us play and really supporting us throughout the whole entire game. Uh, we love them for that. We couldn't have been here without them. The fans were unbelievable. We we owe them a lot of credit. You know, we makes it even a little bit tougher, you know, because we feel like we let them down. You know, they came so far and all the sacrifices they made for us, we, we owe them a lot. And... Um, yeah, I mean, they were unbelievable tonight. They were loud and against Duke as well. They were, they were top notch out there, and it was, it was a very special feeling. Six years ago, nobody would have believed it could be done the way they did it and do it with the kind of class they have is even puts it even at another level. And so I'm uh, fortunate and blessed I got to coach these guys, and they're going to be remembered forever. They certainly will be remembered forever, as Coach Hoffman said. What they did for the city of Macon and all of Middle Georgia, and heck, the state of Georgia for that matter, they should be very, very proud of. They really, really wanted to bring that title back to Macon, but maybe next year, guys. Reporting live in Raleigh, North Carolina, Tucker Sargent, 41, NBC Sports.